Blog.com. I'm Matt Hotchberg. This is a series of videos looking at planning a Royal Caribbean cruise vacation, and today we're looking at Freedom of the Seas. Everything there is about Freedom of the Seas, from uh, restaurants to the fun activities to the hidden gems and everything in between, basically what you can do on Freedom of the Seas. Joining me for this episode is Jamie Snyder of Crowncast, and Jamie does a great podcast all about Royal Caribbean. So without further ado, here we go. Joining me is Jamie from Crowncast, one of my favorite podcasts all about Royal Caribbean. And today we're going to be talking with Jamie about Freedom of the Seas. Now we're going to talk about the ship. Of course, you remember last episode, we focused on the islands in the Eastern Caribbean itinerary. But today we're going to be talking about everything and everything that there is inside Freedom of the Seas. And I'm I'm very happy to bring my good friend uh, Jamie from Crowncast. Welcome to the show, Jamie. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I always enjoy your, uh, your website and, and now your video podcast. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. We're uh, mutually entertaining each other. It's always good. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jamie, you've been on. Uh, I brought you on here because you've been on Freedom of the Seas now three times. Is that right? Twice. We've been twice. on twice. We've. Uh, it. We're, we've. Uh, this past cruise was our tenth cruise, and uh, we've been on Freedom twice. Once on the Western Caribbean uh, itinerary, and this time, uh, just in January, on the uh, Eastern Caribbean itinerary. Nice. So what what brings you back to Freedom of the Seas? Why did you choose to f sail on her again? Um, you know, and this kind of leads into the appeal of Freedom of the Seas because it's a very popular ship, and I think rightfully so. So what brought you guys back to Freedom? Well, uh, unfortunately, it is a very popular ship, and uh, it is one of their uh, nicer ships, to be honest. Um, but really, what brought us back was its proximity to uh, the departure port, uh, Orlando. So uh, we usually do other things in concert with uh, with taking a cruise in Orlando. So we, it's very convenient. Uh, Orlando is a great ar airport. You can go right in there. It's about an hour trip out to the port. Uh, it's actually a, a really nice port facility that they go out of. And uh, Freedom is, uh, when we went on it the, uh, the first time, it was the largest uh, cruise liner in the world. And now it's uh, obviously third. Uh, or fourth in in line, and um, you know we had we had a bit, little bit of a tradition of trying to go on the largest ship when it was still the largest ship when we first went on. So, yeah, I, I think um, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that it used to be the the largest ship because I think that really lends itself to its popularity because you know Royal Caribbean put everything into the ship uh, mm -hmm. that it could to make it you know uh, to give it its widest appeal. And even though it's not the largest anymore, it still has. I mean, it's just, there's a lot to do on board, which is what I really enjoy about this ship. Yes, there is a lot to do, and you know, I don't want to give anybody the impression that it, it's a crowded ship in any way. The strange thing that I find about Freedom is that it's less crowded than the Voyager class ships that I've been on. It must just be the way that they laid it out, or right. how the the traffic flow uh, goes. But it really does feel like you've got your own personal space and just a, a wonderful playground. Um, everything from the uh, promenade, just sitting and people watching, having a drink at uh, numerous locations there, uh, having a, uh, you know, a quick bite to eat. Uh, there's a lot of uh, deck space. There's uh, you know, a, a really nice uh, uh, workout center. And you know, there's, just, there's just so many things to do on the ship. Yeah, and that's why I really wanted to talk about is what there is to do on the ship. It's one of the most common questions we get is, okay, I booked my cruise on Freedom of the Seas. What am I going to do on that ship? And tell what us a little bit about do? what you and your family really enjoy doing on Freedom. Well, we've done, again, doing the two uh, cruises uh, two years apart. We found that uh, this latest time, they uh, were not only repeating a lot of the, the same acts and the same shows, they had some of the same headliners on. So we didn't do as much entertainment, so we kind of went away from the entertainment. But sure. for the first time that you're on the ship, I definitely would partake in all of the shows. Uh, they happen to have a, a, a smaller, not a full-size ice rink, but a, a pretty large ice rink there on a cruise ship. And, um, you know, you can go skating yourself. You can watch the show, which is just amazing. Uh, we were in some relatively heavy seas this past time, and uh, they they there were quite a few spills, but you know very professional, and you know jumped right back up and got right back on there, and it was a really impressive uh, outing for the for the for the troop that they have there. Um, but uh, I would definitely recommend hitting the shows, enjoying the shows. Now they've recently added a um, movie screen outdoors and we did actually sit out and, and, and watch a movie which un unfortunately 
not Royal Caribbean's fault, but the movie wasn't very good. Um, <laughs> but, so, strangely enough, a Disney movie. Um, <laughs> but um, um, it, uh, you know, it was a nice experience, and uh, there were other people out there. You know, you got to talk to people. Um, you know, they've they've added they they are continually adding and tweaking things on the ship all the time, which is really what I appreciate. Um, it's not just going to be the st- same stale old ship that you've been on. Sure, absolutely. Let's talk about when we're since you've been on Freedom a couple of times now. What are your favorite spots on board? Where do you guys end up gravitating towards? Maybe there's a I don't want to call it a secret spot because there's you know only so many <laughs> places and the internet's pretty much ruined all the secrets out there. But you know, where do you guys like to go? Where do you like to spend your time while you're on board? Well, interestingly, uh, we chose to go to the um, right or, um, the the cafe and sit at the cafe on the promenade, oh. and uh, we we had a table there. And strangely enough, it's right across from the Ben and Jerry's and the cupcake uh, cup cupboard, and we happened to have booked on this last cruise the Ben and Jerry suite. So oh, really? you know we. Could, we could see, you know, our room and, and, and see, you know, our daughter was actually, you know, she'd go to bed a little earlier than us. So we could see, you know, her, her, you know, heading off the bed and, and, and going to sleep up there. So, you know, there, there were, uh, there was quite a bit, uh, you know, it was a really nice spot to just people watch, to see people go by. Obviously there's food there. There's, uh, you know, drinks. We, we all, all, many of us had the soda package. Uh, they have the new freestyle machines right on the promenade, so we'd wander down there, you know, do a little shopping. Um, we spent quite a bit of time there uh, in the evenings, uh, uh, and the casino, of course. So <laughs> nice. What um, tell you know, it's funny you mentioned the freestyle machine. Tell some our listeners what that or viewers, I guess, in this case, uh, what what uh, the freestyle is, because I'm, maybe some people are unaware of how this is a pretty cool thing, and I'm looking forward to trying it out myself. Right, it's uh, it is really a cool thing. I I have in the past I've generally always purchased a soda package. Um, I you know I will share with uh, my wife sometimes. You know we don't get two, we just get one. But uh, mm-hmm. this time we did get the two freestyle cups, and mm-hmm. it is the standard soda package cup. So it's a plastic tumbler that mm-hmm. you um, that you got previously, but it now has a uh, chip in it. Um, Technology that you can pr- place it right on the on the the freestyle machine is kind of a a boxy you know uh, Coke machine kind of thing with a with a center panel in it. So you just right. put the the cup right in there, uh, and then on a, a touch display, there's got to be I, I want to say 150 different choices. Yeah, um, and, and sodas, it's it's not just limited to soda, which really was the key for me. I just I can't drink that much soda, especially when you're at sea. You have a right. tendency to get dehydrated. So uh, there was Powerade, there was High C, there was flavored waters. Uh, you know this that for me really made it worthwhile. Nice, it's a really cool thing, and you know you get to make your own combinations and. It's just fun. Yes. You know? Yes, it, it is fun. And, you know, uh, for what you're paying, if you if you really make a concerted effort, I think you can you can get your money back. Sure. Let's talk about um, what to do on the ship. I want to talk about sea days and what to do mm-hmm. on the ship during port days because they're very different dynamics. Obviously, sea days, you've got a lot of people on board. In fact, everybody, everyone's on board. Obviously, the ship is just at right. sea versus uh, port days when you kind of have that feel of having the ship to yourself. And when you're on a sea day, tell us a little bit about what you like to do on a sea day. What's your typical uh, Snyder family traditions or anything like that that you know you like to enjoy spending your time on Freedom? Well, generally we get up, you know, relatively early. My wife and I are both early risers. I happen to work at a school, so uh, I'm up. I'm up relatively early. So once we're up, um, I. I usually get up, I sometimes I do a lap around, a couple laps around the deck, you know, sometimes I even try to catch the sunrise with a camera, uh, depending on the day. But generally, we had seven with us on this past cruise. We would, we would uh, get together as a group at breakfast and, and have what I commonly refer to as the breakfast of champions, which is eggs, bacon, and hash browns, uh, which I don't <laughs> nice. normally eat at all. So um, yeah, uh, I had it every day. Up. Yeah, we had it every day. So, um, so we did that. Uh, then we then we kind of plan out the day from there because you you, you know you can you look at your compass. Uh, you know, we had a couple people who were interested in doing things with the gym. You know, going to spinning classes. Uh, you know, doing some of the the aerobic classes there. And then 
uh, we would kind of pick out, we'd all go back down to the cabins, pick up our stuff and head up to the deck, um, you know, pick out a couple, um, chairs and, in in you know, just, just plan ourselves and, uh, go swim and hit the hot tub. You know, I, I can't, I can't stress enough that the kids section is really nice for kids and there's a, yeah. there's an adult area too, but then, you know, right in the middle, there's just everybody else. <laughs> it's great. And then when you get to, um, Port days, um, and I know you like you guys like exploring ports, but you know sometimes you get a little early. Sometimes maybe you stay on the ship a yeah. little later, and you know it, it's great having the ship to yourself. That that sense of it, you know, when you you walk down the promenade and it, it's like, oh, you know, there's not a lot of people around, or maybe the pool deck. That's always my thing. It's like you know, it's mm-hmm. easy enough to find the the promenade empty in the weird hour of the night, but the pool deck to yourself in daylight hours is, is really nice to be able to have feel that. Tell us what you like to do during uh, uh t- you know, during the port days on Freedom. Well, generally we do, I mean, we are get off the ship and, and go all day kind of people. Um, but we, you know, for, for a port day, sometimes we get back in. Usually if we get back in early, um, we have a tendency to hit the cantilevered hot tubs. Uh, that way you can watch people come back in and, um, you know, just, just kind of relax. And, you know, sometimes uh, the, the past two trips we've had, we've gone in January, and it has been, uh, the weather's been a little variable. So sometimes you get a little, you know, you want to get, it's a little colder. Uh, not that, you know, 75 or 80 is, is cold, but it feels a little colder sometimes. So you hit the hot tub and you, you're relaxing that. Um, you know, and then there's nobody there. I mean, there's nobody in that section. There's, there's usually some, some folks playing cards and you know a couple of people sunning themselves but usually you know like the uh that section of the ship is is almost completely uh empty um we've also done uh the dining room for lunch uh on oh. a port day so that's that's an interesting experience too uh i would definitely recommend for anyone uh to to to, to give that a try to do the dining room for lunch you do have to block out a little bit more time and you do have to kind of sit and relax and enjoy the the service but um you know it it's a nice option we try to do it at least once the cruise yeah the lunch in the main dining room is great i just i just love the the menu seems a little different especially you know for uh, i just love trying new things and i like the options they have plus they have the uh the pasta bar, right? Yeah, usually they do a pasta or a salad bar or both, um, and it's fresh made pasta. They they'll have the pasta machine there making the pasta. Yep. Um, you know, gen- I'm I'm kind of off the menu guy, but it's you know, I mean, you can get a burger with uh, egg on it, you know, fried egg, and you know, so so there's always something a little different there. Absolutely, and while we're spiking of food, there's some great restaurants on uh, Freedom of the Seas. I know there's actually your one of your favorite restaurants of all time, Johnny Rockets. And, uh, Johnny Rockets. Uh, we did uh, we did Johnny Rockets. We did Chops Grill, and we did Portofino's this uh, this time around, which are the three uh, restaurants that they have on on uh, Freedom uh, that uh, that I go to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, um, the Johnny Rockets is always always entertaining. It's it's always a great group of people. Now there is a, a, a slight surcharge for that, and there is a slight surcharge for. Um, shakes uh, but i definitely think it's worth it it's great for a night uh especially on this particular ship with the eastern caribbean where you end up in port sometimes to about seven o'clock at night so right. if you don't want to do the you know i'm going to get dressed up no we're just going to go right get right back on the ship we're going to go up and we're going to eat at johnny rockets so that worked out uh really well uh we did do both chops and uh, portofinos uh, i tried to stray i didn't get the filet this time i got a um a porterhouse at uh at um uh, Portofino's, and I got a T-bone at uh, Chops, and they were both very, very flavorful. Uh, it wasn't quite filet, but um, it, it had a lot of flavor and a lot of a uh, lot of uh, good eats. So nice. Well, um, you know, it, I mean, Freedom's got. I, I just love again variety. I hope is what people are picking up on here. There's just a lot to do. It's not like you have to go on the ship and be like, okay, well, this is the one thing we can do. Let's make sure we do it. There's so much. There's the ice uh, show, which you mentioned. There's the, the the other shows in the evening. You've got the, uh, I mean, there's parties. There's, uh, I mean, you know, right, right. ice cream. I, and I, it's a lot. Yeah, we had we had a very eclectic group, and you know, there there are singles events going on. Uh, there are events having to do with. Um, you know, uh, different groups that you find on the internet. Uh, there are, um, you know, shows, any number of shows that they've just added a 3d movie theater. 
Right. Um, they have the movies at night. Uh, we actually went to see one of the 3D movies. Uh, they have the movies at night, and then, um, you know, they have the parade. Uh, they That's now right. show it twice. That. Uh, they showed it. Uh, they used to show. They still show it at eleven o'clock at night. The first night you're there, and that's mm-hmm. that's really tough on the kids, I think. And I, I'm not sure where they're going with that. But one of my chief complaints was that they needed to show it again later in the year, uh, later in the week, and they are doing that now. So right. it's uh, it uh, you know. So you really do have options. It's not about going and sitting on a chair and eating, you know, three times a day. So. <laughs> Well, my last question for you, Jamie, is something that I always ask almost everybody I go on a cruise. You're going on Freedom of the Seas. Where's the first place you go when you get on the ship for the first time on day one? Uh, the first place we generally go is to Windjammer. Uh, but our second stop is always uh, looking at our dining room table. So we always oh. go down and check out where our table is in the location and, and make sure that there's chairs because that's, that's really <laughs> critical. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the, uh, the tables never seem to move, but, you know, they're there. <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, Jamie, thank you so much for joining us on this. This is you know, very helpful, I think. And I encourage all of our viewers to check out Jamie's podcast, Crowncast, which he does with his wife, sometimes his daughter a little, uh, every now and then. Uh, it's a great resource to talking about. If you love Royal Caribbean as much as, as, as I do and as much as Jamie does, it's a great thing to just listen to. And I, it, it's great. So keep up the great work there, Jamie. Thank you. It's always a pleasure, Matt. Awesome. Thanks. I want to thank our special guest, Jamie Snyder, one more time. I thought we had some great information about Freedom of the Seas, and hopefully you enjoyed it as well. And, of course, we want you to hear your feedback. Let us know what you think of this video series by uh, contacting us on the Internet. Of course, you can email us at matt at royalcaribbeanblog.com. It's a great way to send your feedback. Also, we're on Twitter. We love to get tweets. We love to send you tweets. It's really mutually beneficial. Uh, At the RCL blog if you're on Twitter. And if you prefer Facebook, well, good news, we're on there too. It's facebook.com slash Royal Caribbean Block. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully we're going to see you on board. <laughs>